Um, you know, it, it felt great. Uh, all this hard work we put in the off season, stuff like that, um, pushing each other. I, I think this group's special because we're so close. Um, but overall, it just felt good to be on the court with my team and compete against uh, other people and stuff like that, and um, just have high energy and stuff like that. So it was really fun to get back on the court with those guys and you know um, be able to compete against those guys. Uh, it felt like a great, uh, dream come true. Um, I grew up being a Buckeye fan, and to be here it felt surreal. Um, just got to play, play with my brothers. Um, like you said, it's a special group, and that we got to play together. Play well. Um, just stepping on the college basketball court, it felt, felt amazing. I mean, it was a little nerve wracking and everything, but after that, I just noticed this is like my first time playing with like everybody, like for real in our uniform. Usually we practice together, practice against each other, but we stepped out on the court and all played together, and I, that was a dream come true. Like my teammates say, like, that's a great feeling. Like, I've been waiting for this moment like, for a long time, and the way Ohio State does it, like, uh, that thing just turned me up. Like, I was waiting for this moment. DJ, what was your favorite time? <laughs> <laughs> um, it had to be uh, to my boy EJ, uh, the lot from EJ, just because. Uh, I mean, he knew. I, I told him uh, to throw it up, and I don't even think he saw me. But uh, you know, me and him do, just like I said, it's such a close group. Um, he knows how I play and stuff like that, and um, it was a good connection there. Good pass by my boy, so I probably say a lot. So, and uh, EJ, you guys played a little bit together, sort of at front court. Caleb okay, was off the floor. Just what the, for the two of you, what, why do you think you play well together? I know, I know you don't know how often that's going to happen this season. But just, just what you've been through practicing today, why do you think you fit each other in front court together? Uh, I just feel like that's a versatile group, defensively and offensively. Um, just being able to get the board, push it, um, being able to score at all three levels um, and defend at all three levels is very important. So when we're, whenever we're playing together, I feel comfortable with him on the court. Yeah, I just feel like what he said, I mean, basically it's kind of hard to guard, like, because we both get space on the floor and shoot jump shots. But if we don't, we can also post up. And me and Zoe are pretty good passers, so we see every our teammates open. DJ, uh, there was a spurt during the second half where you guys kind of pulled away. It seemed like you and Caleb kind of had a good thing going, a little two-man game maybe. Uh, just what's it been like practicing with him? And I don't know, how, how do you feel like you play with him right now? No, yeah, um, Caleb's a special player. And um, I don't want to take too much of that just because uh, I mean, it's, it's easy to get Caleb's ball and he, he does his thing. But um, I think we've had a really good connection. And, um, we, uh, he works hard to get open. And you know I kind of just do the easy thing to get, to get him the ball. But, um, Definitely have a good connection there. Um, have a good relationship. Big, he's kind of a big brother to me. Teaches me a lot of things on and off the court. And uh, I think we're really good at communicating with each other. What we see on the court and stuff like that. Um, go about it in the game. And uh, we gel with each other very well. So um, I'm excited to you know keep playing with him and see what happens. For any of you guys, just how different did this feel? You've been practicing, doing stuff all summer. Just to finally play a basketball game. I know it's still an exhibition, but to, to play it against another team, how different did it feel than just practice each, each day? Um, CJ Walker kept bringing it up by how he hasn't played in 584 games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it just felt really, like it was awesome because we worked out together all summer and in open gyms, we played against each other, but us all getting the same jersey and playing as a, a unit, it just felt amazing as like us playing as brothers, so. Yeah. Just the chemistry between the four of you coming in as a class, where where is that now and, and where do you think the ceiling can go for this class? Oh, I think we're very close. Um, <laughs> not just us four, uh, just the family environment and us four coming in and being so close and then sophomores, juniors like Justin, uh, D-Wiz, Dre, just welcoming welcome us with uh, open arms and just making us feel part of their family. Did any of you guys have like a nice dream of a countdown with CJ? Um, we were all excited. We were all very excited. But see, it was different for CJ because he had to <laughs> sit and watch all the home games last year. So he was just it's ecstatic. But he wouldn't really show it. But today, he we saw it like and be really excited. So yeah. And DJ, for you, how's that relationship with CJ kind of built? Is it you guys have some time off and on the court together No, yeah, it's fun um, practicing and working with CJ just because uh, he's a very competitive guy as uh, as I am. But uh, I think. Um, you know, he's an easy player to play with. He, he does all the right things. Um, he's very, you know, fundamental with his play. And, uh, 
he makes the game easier for me. I mean, he, he makes good plays and stuff like that, and is also a very good leader. So, um, we got a lot of leaders on this team, and as a young guy, I think it's my my role just to listen and learn, and learn my role amongst this team and excel in that role. DJ, uh, DJ mentioned that pass you threw to him. Well, what did you see on that play? How is it uh, running in transition with these guys? Well, I remember um, me and DJ were playing open gym one time, and I didn't throw him the lob, and he was like, you can throw it to me. And I was like, all right, I got you next time. And that was the perfect situation. He tipped the pass, I got it. Dribble, I saw him out the corner of my eye, just put a little finger up, so I just threw it. And I knew he was going to get it, because DJ could jump kind of well, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, DJ, we heard about how you've been working on your conditioning, trying to get into better shape. How did you feel out there today, running around? Um, when I first stepped on the court, I felt I felt good and I felt like really, really excited and kind of nerve wracking stepping on the court. But after after a while, I just felt like more settled in. I felt like my conditioning felt pretty well. So. Uh, for Ibrahima, uh, it took you a half to get in the game, but when you did, I think you made your presence felt pretty good. Do you feel if this team needs you to beat Caleb's back up and play meaningful minutes that that you're ready for that type of a challenge? I know. You're getting better every day. Just what, what's your thought about if this team goes to you at, at the five, if, if you can handle that, that workload, I guess? Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, uh, I'm going to do everything like my team needs me to do. So, yeah, I will be just like on the bench, watching the game, learning behind Caleb. So, whatever my team needs me, I'm going to step up and do whatever they need me to do. Yeah. And for Lonzo, I understand that, as I recall, in your distant past, talking about your dad. Did he play at Cincinnati? Is that right? Yeah, he did. So, what is this game, you know, next week? I'm sure there's been a lot of talk about it. Uh, not necessarily about playing, you know, the Cincinnati team that's coming up here, just the rivalry and all that. Is, is he excited about your making your official college debut against his alma mater, or what's he say? Yeah, he's um, he's really excited about the rivalry. Uh, rivalry. Um, I am also. Uh, I just want to go out there and kill him. Really. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Um, he's he's rooting for us. He's um, he's rooting for the Buckeyes, and I'm excited. Yeah, for, for DJ and EJ, just to play on national television, your college debut next week in a rivalry game, Cincinnati and Ohio State. Uh, just what do you guys think that that's going to be like next Wednesday here? Um, it's it's going to be a big game. Um, season opener, two very good talented teams. Um, facing off in a really good environment. So, I mean, it's going to be fun. But um, I think um, us for as a group are going to have to play very mature. Um, to, like I said, it's a very good team coming in, and we got to, you know, play mature and, and play with uh, with control. So, uh, you know, it's it's going to test us at points, but um, I think we've, we've worked for this, and uh, I think we're ready. So uh, we can just look forward to it. And um, I feel like all four of us is like, this is going to be an eye-opener. I mean, this is going to be the first game where it's going to be a packed house. All four of us need to really – we'll have to calm ourselves down because I know personally, like, I will have to calm down if I see all the fans in the stand. But I feel like this is going to be a big game and it's going to be a great experience for all of us. Jay, you were talking about um, finding Caleb and, and your chemistry with him. Where do you think that he likes to get the ball? How are you, How did you develop that chemistry with understanding where you like the ball, understanding where he likes the ball? Yeah, um – for K, uh, he's so he's so much stronger than most sports guys. So um, he's really good at using his body and um, controlling the paint. So um, really, uh, it's tough just because one thing I've learned since I've been playing here is uh, there's a lot of hands and, and gaps and stuff with deflections and stuff like that. So sometimes it is tough getting him the ball. But um, um, usually I I'll toss it you know just up over the defense. Um, a lot of head head uh, pass fakes and stuff like that. Um, to get him the ball, but um, I mean, it's it's really tough just because he, he's able to pop out now. He's a really good passer. He can dribble. So, um, like I said, he makes the game a, a little easier for me and uh, definitely spaces out the floor for us this year. Then what's been Coach Holman's directive to you with, with when he wants you to push on transition? Mm -hmm. So I know that's, that's something that he has mentioned specifically with you. Yeah, um, every time, really. Um, every time I get the ball, uh, I'm, I'm going to – push it just because um, I know that that's one of my strengths and I know um, like tonight um, sometimes the defense was in set and stuff like that I know we can get easy buckets like that so every time I do get a ball the ball in the position to push it I'm going to do that and uh, and hopefully I can you know clean things up in the half court and uh, be able to control the offense a little bit. And then just one for EJ um, you guys have 
been, you guys have been enrolled here for, for now months and committed for even, even more months. And I know that Coach Holman has talked about just being a young team for him, the youngest that he's coached. So the four of you guys coming in is, I think, his highest ranked recruiting class yet. Like, how ready do you feel like you have to be for this season, the four of you? Um, it's high expectations for all of us. And it's, Coach said we could be a really great team. We all buy in and just learn off the older guys. But I feel like us being committed to the school for so long and us being here for some months, I really feel like we built that connection and we have that brotherhood with the school now. So it's more than us us four freshmen and more. It's more than the whole team. It's about the name on the front of our jersey. So. Uh, All right, I mean, it's just um, getting injured in the preseason. It's like you really have to stay good-minded and not try to rush anything. If you try to rush anything, it's not going to be as well as when you come back. So I feel like we just have to keep mentally learning things while we're on the sideline watching. And I feel like that was a big key, just watching on the sideline and trying to learn things from the older guys. Um, Starting my part, I think uh, – uh, we have a lot of a good training staff. Um, they did a good job of, you know, uh, getting us back on the court fast and, and, and healthy and stuff like that. But um, I think, um, I mean, it's hard. Uh, you know, you're gonna have bumps and bruises every practice, and you'll have, you know, three-hour practices every day, and you're gonna have to play through some of those bumps and bruises and stuff. But um, I think um, one thing that I've learned is just, you know, becoming smarter with my body and knowing that this is a long season to play a lot more games than I did in high school. And, uh, you know, putting focus in that recovery part of the game and um, really taking that in deep. And, uh, you know, hopefully that will, you know, show up later here in the season. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks.